Here we are, day 28. You're almost finished with the entire 30-day curriculum of speaking to others with covers, with honor and respect, and you're getting the hang of it. But what will you do if you speak to someone who hasn't completed the curriculum? They've never heard of Clean Speech Colorado. Even worse, they fail to show you the proper covers and speak to you in a totally disrespectful manner. You will be shocked since you are now much more sensitized to the way that words of covered sound, words that lack covered will sting. Ouch! You know you deserve better. You have a divine soul, worthy of tremendous respect. What's going on here? How are you going to handle it? This is an incredible opportunity. Firstly, of course, you'll tell this person to go to cleanspeech.com and start learning about Jewish mindful speech so they never make that mistake again. Secondly, here's what you'll do. You will overlook the disrespectful treatment you received and forgo your honor. That's right. You won't retaliate. You won't complain. You won't hold a grudge. Just let it go. You will decide on the spot to pass up on the honor you rightfully deserve and respond as if it never happened. And when you do that, our tradition teachers, you will have earned yourself the equivalent treatment from heaven. Since you were able to overlook a slight to your honor, therefore if you ever did anything that slighted the honor of heaven, it will be overlooked, measure for measure. Our tradition further teaches that having accomplished such a difficult and powerful task, you have been imbued with a power of blessing. Don't waste this opportunity. Take a moment, say a blessing for friends, for family, for the best interest of humanity. We hope you never have to be spoken to without the cover you deserve. But if it does happen, seize the opportunity and just let it go. Try this today. Steal yourself to become a champion of Kavod. Imagine for a moment that someone just spoke rudely to you. Visualize yourself smiling and responding calmly without being flustered or upset. Now, put that moment of preparation into practice as you go through your day. I'm Gila and I'm speaking with Kavod.